in this problem we seek this voltage and this current supposed to use known voltage method and there's no reference selected for us and try this one on for size um, doing that means that both of these voltage sources would be floating which um, is not the simplest way to approach the problem let's go ahead and choose this node as the reference now we know right away then that I'm just going to call this VA anyways. But we know that VA, that node voltage is 6. And this node voltage that I'm calling VB is then 4I1. So again, the, the uh, dependent source produces that potential at node B. So we would then need to write an equation up here and we'd need to write another equation down there. So let's go ahead and do the equation for node C. Current heading to the left is 6. Current heading down, again we write this only in terms of our assigned node voltages. current heading to the east or heading to the right is VC minus VD which is the voltage on the other side divided by 2 and that equals 0. Let's do the equation at node D. See essentially all of the currents are pointing upwards. So I'm going to start at the left and our uh, first current then is VD minus VA over 1. And again you ignore the name of that current which is a control current for that dependent source. So we're not going to pay attention to that and just write it in terms of our assigned node voltages. Next current over is VD minus 0, because that's our reference node, divided by 4. Next current, this one now is a current source. And finally the last current is VD minus VC over 2. That equals 0. Next we need to write our control parameters in terms of our assigned node voltages the current I1 is VD minus VA over 1 and the voltage V1 is VC minus VB. Then your next step is to solve these equations and get the following results. Based on these node voltages, then we can solve for the desired quantities. V is the same thing as uh, minus the node voltage called VD. Again, why might that be? Well, again, um, VD is defined when you write in the polarity marks like that so V is the opposite sign so our one desired answer then is minus 8 volts the other thing we're looking for that is the current I can be found as the voltage across the 2 ohm resistor divided by 2 and that leads to minus 2 amps. And we're all done with that problem. Uh, started out as a rather formidable looking circuit, but again, choosing a good reference node can cut down on your work.